sorry, we can uh, switch over to the next slide. So welcome to the Comanche Trail Street and Drainage Improvements public meeting. And thank you for participating tonight. Joining us tonight is Mike Bennett, the project manager, Randy Haney, the project engineer, who's with Pape Dawson Engineers, and I am the assistant project manager, Jane Widmer. Tonight we will discuss uh, the project backgr uh, background, the scope, the project details, and then after that, we will take any questions that you might have. For those of you new to this project, Comanche Trail is located on the east side of Lake Worth, uh, on the southwest side of State Highway 199 or Lake Worth Boulevard and north of Interstate Highway 820. Comanche Trail borders uh, uh, between the city of Fort Worth and Lake Worth. Uh, we have been collaborating with Lake Worth City Manager Stacy Almond and her staff. For those of you who live close by, you know that the watershed flowing into the lake, uh, which would be on the top of the screen uh, at the Comanche Trail Crossing is high and can be quite dangerous at various times of the year. Uh, the hazardous roadway overtopping is precisely the issue that we are addressing with this project. Here's an image of existing conditions at ground level looking west. Here's an aerial view of existing conditions. The blue line is the stream. Lake Worth uh, would be at the top of the screen and considered downstream, upstream is south of the Comanche Trail Crossing. We are currently at 60% in the design. Here is the general overview of what is planned. We propose a wider and straighter roadway. The roadway will also be uh, raised over the crossing. We will increase drainage capacity by adding larger culverts uh, that will accommodate a, a 100 year storm. The added culverts will be arched. There will be a rock drop structure at the upstream side. And there's a plan to preserve the rocks from the old culvert and add them to as a landscaping feature. We will include pedestrian sidewalks and rails on both sides of the crossing. There will be water and sewer relocation around the improvements. We will also add culvert drainage on guardrails. But of, above all, the, uh, the objective is to create a safe crossing when the water level is high. The anticipated completion for design is May 2022. Uh, the bid and uh, award of the project for construction will be fall 2022. The start construction will be spring 2023. And construction completion, completion will be spring 2024. The funding is estimated around $4 million and is funded by the storm water revenue bond funds. Once complete, the view uh, the view at Comanche Trail shown to the right of the screen will look quite different and ultimately be a safer crossing when the water is high. And that concludes the overall presentation. Um, here is the contact information for both me, Jane Widmer, and um, Mike Bennett, who is the project manager. Uh, this presentation will be uh, posted on the project website listed on the bottom at the bottom of the slide. Um, now that we've come to the question part of the presentation, Mike Bennett and Randy Haney will help in answering any questions. Mike and Randy, uh, would you please identify yourself before answering any questions, please? And I'm going to turn it over to Mike Bennett right now. Thank you, Jane. So we do looks like we have some people on the in the meeting today and so first i'll open it up to any uh doesn't look like we have any questions in the chat but everybody right now should be muted so if you would like to be uh unmuted there's uh it's at the bottom of your screen there should be an unmute button if you want to ask 
Any questions? I do see. Um, all right, was that the Landers? I could not understand that question. Is that Scott and Cindy Landers? Looks like you guys might be on mute. I did. I'm afraid that it's the connection is really, really poor right now. I. I stop talking when you start. I'm sorry, it's we're really having trouble. Can you type? You would never be able to type in your question, would you? I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry, it's just not coming through. Well, well. We have. Ms. Landers, I, I, I hate to keep traveling down the same road. Is there a way perhaps you can reach out to me tomorrow and we can discuss and I can help you with some of your questions? Because I just. I'm afraid uh, we're just not able to get. Able to hear you. Uh, I do want to reach out. There's a call in user. I'm going to unmute you real fast. No. Electricity. Right now, so. Oh, I'm oh goodness. Sorry. Too sorry. <laughs> um, well. Well. Comanche. Trail at that. At local. Well, I'm afraid we lost you again. This is Marvin McCarwich. I have a question. Yes, sir. Please go. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. Okay, um, I, I, I wasn't sure if it was talked about, but what is the plan for, um, if any, for um, I know that you said that uh, um, there's a plan to reroute some of the drainage, but um, it, is there something that's going to be done or in the plan to capture? Um, trash and stuff that comes down the drain before it gets down into the lake we have we've looked into that thoroughly and the issue can the issue that we've come across is we have not been able to find there is not not a way to maintain that uh trash collection system um we have looked at several different uh groups and departments and that is just not it's not uh something that we've been able to accomplish an example would be um typically our storm drain maintenance folks after a strong rain because that the problem is with the trash racks they require uh continue and constant uh maintenance basically after every rain because all they do is collect that first that first flush of trash and unfortunately after each rain event we've got to get the storm water field ops are going through and collecting up uh, or um Fixing drainage issues that are out there, basically blockages and stuff that occur. And so at, at this time, unfortunately, that is not that's something we're not going to be able to uh, add to this project. But we did look into it. Okay, thank you.
Okay, so the question that we have here in the chat, hi, one question is, will the Comanche Trail be totally closed for the year? So it shouldn't, it should not require closing for the full, for the full year. There will be a road closure on that. That is something that we, uh, we will have a better answer. We're uh, about the 90% uh, submittal, our next submittal. We'll, uh, the engineer will look through and determine how long a closure would be required for this uh, for this crossing. So we don't have that answer today, but we will stay stay tuned. We will have that for the next meeting. Okay, are there any other questions? Again, I hope everybody is staying, staying safe out there. We will have, we, we have been recording this meeting. And so this will be posted at the address at the bottom of the uh, screen of the slide so you can you can uh, play this over again and share it with others that may not have been able to make this meeting actually it was also posted into the chat as well I will say if anybody has any uh, additional questions, please reach out to me if you weren't able to get um, get your question in. Also, if you have any friends or neighbors that were not able to make the meeting due to the weather tonight, please share the my information with them and and ask them to reach out to me. Because we do our big thing is we do want to educate people on the projects that we have, and we want to we want to be responsive to your questions. But if there are no additional questions, and I don't see anything in the chat, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this meeting. So thank you for everybody coming out tonight, and please uh, watch the weather and stay safe. It looks like it's going to be dangerous out there for another another hour or so. Well, thank you.